<clears throat> What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Band of the Outdoors. Today, we're going to be transplanting the tobacco plants. Uh, first, we're going to thin the tobacco plants and just have one single tobacco plant in each little pod. And then we're going to transplant it from the little pods right here into these bigger deals so they can begin to grow, have more soil or whatever so the roots can expand and whatever. Uh, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. Uh, and then we bought a greenhouse um, the other day. So check out the link to that right here. Essentially, we just got a little two and a half by four and a half foot greenhouse set up outside. So that's where these are gonna be going after we do this here today. So be sure to check out that video of us building that greenhouse. We're gonna be Thinning these out to the biggest one, the most dominant, most central plant, uh, and then moving it into this and putting it outside in the greenhouse. Protected still from the rain and the wind and that kind of stuff. Uh, it'll be outside and getting a lot more sun and whatnot. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on that. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pick through here, thin this out as much as I can with some of these smaller plants. I think I'm just going to go ahead and as I thin them out, move them over. It'll just be easier to get them kind of out of the way of each other. I'm just filling these little deals up with dirt. Creating a little hole enough for these little pods to fit into. And I'm going to pull them out of here transplant it as easily as I can to here hopefully without messing anything up mess with that plant too much because they are still fragile I don't want them to break so neither of those have real strong stems yet um, so I'm just gonna leave both of them and see which one does better and then we'll get rid of the other one later on this pod sadly Nothing grew. I'm just gonna stick it in there just as a placeholder for now. So I'm transferring these over uh, so they'll be exactly in the same spot as they were in here so I can take note of what's what. And once I find my paper that I wrote what's what on, um, so this tray is labeled A, B, C, D. And so I wrote a diagram on a piece of paper that told me what variety was what, well, I've since lost that paper and didn't take a picture of it or note it down anywhere else. Although in the first video of me planting uh, these, which if you guys haven't watched, this is a series of me planting the tobacco plants in here, uh, thinning, thinning it out the first time. Uh, this is the second thinning and the transferring into these bigger plants. Um, but if you guys haven't seen the series already, I'll leave a link right here. You guys can go to the playlist and watch it through uh, what we've been doing and how we've been growing tobacco. Uh, and then at the end, we're gonna like roll our own tobacco um, into cigars. So that's the goal at least. We'll see if we get there. Um, these plants are doing all right, but we will see because I don't have a great green thumb. But I do have a degree in ag business. Ag business. Anyway. Um, so hopefully the ag side helps me grow these things. Now what I am gonna do though is bury the stem a little bit to give a little bit more support and whatnot. So it has a little bit more surface area underground than it originally did. With the hopes that maybe they'll stand up a little bit better.
Alrighty, so I got these first two rows done. Um, gonna keep going. These ones are gonna need a little bit more thinning out. These are a little thicker. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and transition them over. Um, and we'll see you guys once we get to the end of these. All right, so we just finished getting the last one in. Um, we only had one little pod that did not have uh, any tobacco growing in it. Uh, we're gonna leave it planted here and maybe something will sprout later on. Who knows? Um, so I'm just gonna finish filling that one. As a placeholder, maybe something will grow. I doubt it, but. So as you guys can see, uh, we have transitioned them over from the little pellets. Uh, took the pellets that expand I actually got more of those. Um, touch on that here in a second, but uh, took those pellets that expand into like little natural pots into these uh, pots. I just picked these up at Menards. They're called seed seed starter um, pot seed starter. I don't know. Anyway, they're a little bit bigger, um, so they'll get, have a little bit more room to grow, uh, and then hopefully they'll grow sturdy enough in these to then be able to be transplanted outside into the, the garden that we have out there. It's a raised garden bed. Uh, that's the plan uh, is to just be able to move these into there. If we have to go into a little bit bigger uh, pots, uh, we'll get another thing like this that are just a little bit bigger, whatever. For now, these are gonna go out into the greenhouse. If you guys are as anxious as I am uh, to get these grown into cigars, please give me a thumbs up, uh, like this video and subscribe to the channel. Um, your support's greatly appreciated, um, but we're gonna go ahead and move these out to the greenhouse. Let them continue to grow. Uh, so we'll show you guys that once we get them out there. Ooh. So it's kind of neat, the people that lived here before us had a little security light back here by the back gate. So I got like a little personal light for my greenhouse when I come out here in the dark. You got these on one side, which are the herbs um, on that side. You can see it's already starting to get foggy in there like a greenhouse. And then back on this side. So this is the greenhouse all set up, backlit by the security light. Yeah. And Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe, like the video, and check us out on social media at Vanderbilt Outdoors. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget, explore the outdoors.